Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 25 years of experience in Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinion on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mega Man 7. Let's go to Slash Man. Since we can now burn down the tree. Sounds like a good idea. God damn I hate this motherfucker. One of the best music bits in the game though, this one. Again, have a unique enemy. And almost never have I seen what it fully does. Why the fuck does it turn around? Oh, I see! So you create an enemy like this in your game that has a pattern of over a minute in length that you'll pre pretty much never see. I actually didn't have any idea that this enemy did this. I didn't know it launches missiles, you know why? Because when I see it, I go... Aah! And it's dead. I didn't know what it did. It's kind of useless. Cool ideas. They probably just go unused. You could put your energy on other enemies, create another smaller enemy that fires those missiles. You don't have to have over a minute of an animation... You don't have to have an animation and an attack pattern that lasts over a minute on a single enemy. Nobody's ever gonna see the full uh, pattern, because people will just kill those enemies. Welcome to Super Mario Bros. 2. It's Doki Doki Panic. Listen, it's fucking boats. You have to know that these come up in advance. If you don't jump in advance, you're as good as dead. Not a perfect job, although it's kind of fun. And it's at the beginning of the stage. If you die, the checkpoint is right there. I love the grass. Well, now you could argue. Okay, the enemy makes more sense now because it's down there. It's, it's gonna have more time to... Uh, nope, you're wrong. It's just useless. Looks like you could slide down there. Should have been a secret there. But I guess there's not. It's a nice jump here, I just fucked it up. I wanna do it again. OCD. That's not fair. If you don't really have OCD, you don't get to say that. These are fun as well. You jump on them and uh, they'll bring you to the uh, next part of the stage. I guess it's kind of fun. Until you get hit and drop down, which is never gonna happen. Quite an easy section. Reminds me of uh, Bright Man stage. It's a nice flashback to that. Get it? What a pun. You just have to be fast enough with your trigger finger and... If you go really fast, you can even get that E-tank. And now it's gonna come back to us. Well, shit. I'll drink to that. Well, turns out you need to be flawless in your execution for that. But then again, it's for an E-tank crab. I just fucked up. Yeah, it's just... Very precise jumping at times in Mega Man 7. You need to be really fucking careful with your positioning. I don't understand why we are not hitting that enemy. Is it like... Oh, it's reversed! That's a sick trick! Why you oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. I've never had this much fucking trouble at this part, because I've never uh, explored it. I just rushed through, because it's a Mega Man game, I just rushed through. What was the weapon we got last time? Oh yeah, the Scorch Wheel. It has a charge function, which doesn't actually do anything, just holds it in your grasp longer. Or you can just fire it off immediately. This is the most dumb weapon. Like, okay, not the most dumb. Watch my weapon video for that. But it's such a useless fucking weapon. It is so useless. I don't know where the fuck... Where would I ever use that? Unless I wanna... Uh, collect beat on this stage. That's right, this game has beat. This game has, like, everything. Except the items, because they suck. Okay. Oh! Well, that's nice, right? 
That's a nice surprise. You just walk normally up and... Oh! Yeah, the show doesn't give you any time to react. It's just... Even if you, like, if you slide, it's even worse. Gosh, give me some time to react, please. Like, I realize I'm being negative, like, most of the time, but I'm nitpicking here. This is a fantastic game, in my opinion. I just love nitpicking. Fun fact, if you hit the meat boss there, it doesn't do any damage. You have to wait for it to get here, and then it starts dealing damage to him. So speedrunners used to uh, just run away from him and just fire, but little did they know, it dealt no damage. So the pattern is okay, I guess. I think he, d yeah, he does come up here. So then you're screwed. Oh my god, you're so screwed. I didn't realize that. There is like, looks like there's no save spot in here, what the hell? Oh shit, the menu, I fucking hate it. I love this game though. Nice, they're, they're ranged. That's a good idea. Man. Yeah, <laughs> like there's no telegraph. Everything just happens. I see the eyes flash, yes. That's a telegraph, but... How would you know? Is he... Okay, so his eyes flash when he... Holy fuck, he's fast. So his eyes flash... When he uses the bullet attack, and they don't when he f uses the fire. Okay. It's a nice meat boss, come on. Let's not be overly critical here. Kinda ass, but at the same time, you kinda have to love it. Okay, so here is where you burn the trees. But you probably want to get rid of all of this mess, which is not a good idea. Demonstrating how shooting a beehive necessarily not a good idea. I think that's a fun gimmick. Of course. Why would- why the hell would you shoot a beehive? You wouldn't. That's a fun enemy type, or a, a fun stage gimmick in my opinion. It's like, yeah, what did you expect? Oh my god, you can hit it off screen, that's bad. So you're supposed to burn this last tree again. Proto Man did tell you about this, like, tanks. He told us about something. And you still have to use Rush Coil. And press the right button. <gasps> So Proto Man helped us with one thing, that is so cool. Well, actually he helps us with like two things, so I was partly wrong. So now we can free beat. Mm. Well, that was the most awkward disappearance of all time. Do we have beat? Beat? Oh yeah, we have it. Four beats. So if we drop down a pit, beat will save us, technically most of the time, if it doesn't fail. I hope I didn't miss any items on this stage other than that, because I'm not sure anymore. The eggs are kind of fun, just keep your distance. After all that, welcome to the most difficult robot master of this game. Felon, no miss, no damage, perfect run, slash man. Nobody else is able to even uh, do it. Or even fucking tried. Okay, I've tried it. It's fucking impossible. So... Those are pretty much random. They always come down from the same spots, if I remember correctly. But... You pretty much never know. There was a percent uh, chance where they will come down more often. Like, I think if you're in the middle, you're, you have a better chance of dodging them. Something like that. It, it doesn't really concern us. It's Nico evaluates. It's not Nico does math. So basically... It's a fun boss if you're casually playing it, but... When you get stickied up like that, you have to uh, mash your controls to get out of it faster, and... You need to mash so fucking fast, it's not even funny. Like, there's barely any time to get out of it before he attacks you. So if you get glued, you're pretty much fucking done. So let's see, if I, like, there, if I mash really fucking hard, but then multiple of them can <laughs> glue you on the same fucking turn. So even if you get out of one, another one can drop on you, then you're literally fucked. Because it hinders your controls when you are stuck. 
So that makes it more difficult to avoid the other ones. It's kind of like a never-ending fucking diarrhea stream. It's never over. Oh no! I do like the fight. I love the fight. It's hectic, it's fucking cool. You can't say that this sucks. I love it. Fuck, I hate it. Oh my fuck. Shit. Let's see how fast I can- fuck. Let's see how- fuck. Let's see how fast I can- shit. Thanks, beat. Let's see how fast I can beat the game. I mean the stage. Let's go! There, there, there. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna help a whole hell of a lot, beat. Thanks, I'm so fucking grateful. Can I still save myself? <laughs> Rush, you goddamn bitch. Technically correct. So we rescued Beat, just to use all of the Beats on the same stage we game over on. That's fantastic. That's one enemy type you wanna charge. Those birds. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, the chunk shield collides with that fucking thing that carries us. That's an oversight. What the hell was that? Way to balance the chunk shield by being a bitch, though. I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently... <laughs> I wonder if the chunk shield kills this... Uh, I wonder if the chunk shield is good here. Holy fuck, like two hits. Yeah, the chunk shield is so overpowered, it's not even funny. It's like if Metal Blade was overpowered on Mega Man 2, then this is way more overpowered than Metal Blade's. Like, it's just so useful, it never runs out. Well, let's see if we can get beat twice, now that we game over. Answering the important questions. Can you get beat twice? Beat? God damn, I wanna beat Slash Man with Buster only. Holy sh... I was still sleeping there. Probably helps to charge. No. <gasps> oh my god, my feet were stuck. I didn't even remember that's a thing. There's little telegraphing in this fight, it's just learning the timing. I think it's kind of fun though. You can't deny this is fu not fun. It's like concrete, man, but ten times more difficult. But fights like this, I really like. It defines Mega Man. Fights like Slash Man define the genre. Define what it is to be Mega Man. You're in real fucking danger here. If you had weakness, though. Or weaknesses, as I like to put it. Then you're golden. Shit. Oh no! I like it, I mean, come on, it's not perfect. Telecrafting sucks and there's weird things about this fight, but man, is it satisfying when you kill him. That is fun. I have the mindset that if your boss is fun, it's purely fun and reactionary and it's just a blast to battle the boss, then you can have some lean way on the mechanics of it. You can have some fun developing bosses like this. A lot of people are probably gonna disagree with me there, but I just think Slash Man is just pure fun. It's a fun boss. Can't, like, we, we can't make predictable games, we can't always have stuff that is self-explanatory and easy to see and easy to understand. We need to have Slash Man we need to have a quick man, we need to have shadow man. Those are the things that define these Mega Man games. Let's go spring man, shall we? I don't even know if we did two already or not. But in any case, let's go here. Springs. My second least favorite stage in the game. 
right after Cloud Man. Also, we got the Slash Claw, which is one of my favorite weapons from the game. It's a melee weapon, but it pretty much uh, shreds assholes. It's very effective. Uh oh, that's. Uh, there we go. It's also the weakness of Spring Man. What is the point even going up there? There's no point. Okay. I just love using Slash Claw. It's very fun. The springs, though, I'm not so sure. A bit overused. I get it, Spring Man, yes, springs. You need to have those. Positioning, not the greatest here, but I'm also using the Slash Claw. Some things just never change. I love these enemies, though. They have personality. We are almost out of Slash Claw, though. That's a shame, because it's such a fun weapon to use. But it's so effective as well. Well, then we got the weapon energy here. Like, Spring Man stage is a bit like... Old Pudding. It looks nice, but when you actually taste it, you're like... Eh, it could be better. There's not much to say about this, I mean, it's just straightforward, you just keep going, there's... Like, rooms like this, what the hell is the point? Also, you just have to slide jump there, pretty much... Well, you don't have to, but... <laughs> if you wanna miss the jump, then... So, I don't... I don't think I've ever gone here. What's down here? Oh, it's just the same section, okay, so... So, this is a bit of a maze stage. Look at the mets at the top, what the hell is that about? So, there is a secret at the top left here. So, let's go take that first. One of the trickiest jumps in the game here. Like, infuriating jump. With this terrain. Also, this game was made in a very short time period. It's like, I can't remember, like, two months or something? Correct me if I'm wrong. Might have even been fucking three weeks, I don't know, but... Very short uh, development time and... Look at this game, look at how fucking awesome it is, and then look at Mega Man 8. What the fuck happened there? So all those bolts gives you, uh, I think, a new item in the shop? And also, uh, I think it lowers the prices of the items or something like that. I never really paid attention to what it does. Something use, something useless like that. Okay, there we go. Another secret E-Tank. And another spot where you probably need to use... The slight jump or something. How the hell do you get there without items? Can you even? Yes, you can. That's so fucking tight. Oh. Tight like an Asian. Okay. Still using the slash claw. So I, c I don't possibly have it for the boss. That's nice. Also, I love how in this game... Different bosses react differently to their weaknesses, so it's clear when you have found their weakness. They have a different animation when they get hit. I should have mentioned that earlier, but now I remind uh, Spring Man's behavior reminded me of it. God damn it. I'm down here again. I'm just gonna cheat. I hate this fucking stage. Come on. Can you even land? It, it can't even land anywhere because. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my whole hill. If in doubt, cheat. There we go. I just hate that section. Not fun. Stage is pretty short if you know where to go. This is probably the last uh, Robot Master stage they did, because it's so different to anything else. It's so lackluster in design, I think. May stages and such. Uh, never was really a fan. I can show you what happens to Spring Man when you hit him with the uh, Slash Claw. There's also a way to cancel his animation. I I'll try to do that, but I'm 
not giving any guarantees. <laughs> See if we can do that. So first hit is there, and then... Nope, I failed it. I'll try again. Basically, you can cancel his animation and kill him faster. But I am failing at it one more try, apparently. There we go. I cancelled the animation. That way you can kill him faster. He is probably one of the easiest robot masters in the game. He should be. He's fucking spring man. What do you expect? So that's his other attack. You can destroy those. I'm just not firing because I'm afraid of killing him. So he has very easy delay crafts, pretty much. That one is a bit too fast, but come on, it's a bit, a bit of an easy robot master anyway. Like it's an easy start. It, it would be an easy start, but you don't get access to this stage, but only after the four initial robot masters, which again, in my opinion, sucks. Why not give you the freedom? Because then we wouldn't have the mid stage. Yes, you would. Just build the story differently around it. I just wanted to show that. Fucking suplex. Springman uses a suplex in the fucking... That's just glorious. I like that attack. I like Springman to an extent. Not a perfect job by any means, but... Kind of an easy one. Well, if you agree on what I said, leave a like. If you disagreed, I'll meet you at the back. Catch you next time.